Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this Kill Team Commission Showcase. Really, really cool models that we've got, this Tau Kill Team. Uh, we're back in a sec to have a look at it in, in all its glory. But before we do that, if you're new to the Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly, welcome. Here at Siege, we're a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service. Um, we offer four levels. All of them are, uh, as a minimum, our bronze level is an above tabletop in its quality, all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality, and all the team paint to the variation of those levels. Um, if you are interested in a quote or a commission with us, then very simply, we need to do is head to the description of this video where there's a link that says get a quote that takes you directly to the siege studios website and our contact form once you're there on the contact form select the drop down options from those that are available for your project uh, and what you require and then also in the message section include a list of models in our model list format which is very simple and easy to do uh, fire that off to us we'll come back to you with a quote and we'll get the process started uh, we're back in a second to have a look at this really cool kill team in more detail see you guys back shortly So let's dive in, have a look at this kill team, uh, which we completed for one of our clients. It's been worked on by Keith, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, I know you had a great time working on it. And the colour scheme is really interesting as well. The blue and orange uh, two-tone with black as well is really, really cool. Uh, so let's start by having a look at these Pathfinders. We'll start with the leader himself. Really, really cool model. And just get this to focus for you guys. Apologies. Uh, there we go. And uh, as you can see, all the little extra details are all fully painted on him. The bonding knife there done on the back. Little uh, free-handed uh, sort of markings and set markings are done on the knife. Scabbard on the shoulder guard as well with that white sort of tassel just to denote the bonding knife as well. But all the eyes and everything fully painted on these, as you can see. Uh, little sort of freehand details on the kneecaps as well, the sort of those um, set markings as well, but the edging done in a very, very, very crisp fashion here, as you can see. Uh, so that's just the uh, squad leader. Um, next up, we'll pull forward some of the regular Pathfinders, just so you can see those, again, those freehanded set markings done on the gun and also on his helmet as well. All the little lenses and everything fully painted there, as you can see, uh, in a lovely, pristine fashion on this. Really, really sharp highlighting that Keith's executed as well, which is really nice. Uh, so that's just another Pathfinder. And pull forward one of my favourite models, which is the comms guy or the sort of scanner guy which is quite cool uh, again he's got his obviously his rifle there with his set markings all on it and you can see all that edging done but my favorite thing and let's just get this to focus is this little scanner here that has all the little blips and bobs and details on it as well those little intricate details that keith has painted on there for our client um really really cool attention to detail so that's just that and then move around, you can see all the lenses and everything fully painted on these guys as well. Uh, we'll have a look at the other guy with the binoculars. Again, he's really cool, uh, just scouting for someone to blast away. But you can see the lovely blend there on that lens with the point of light source and catch lights and all the blending done as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, all the set markings and everything done on the shoulder guards as well and the gun. Can really consistent from model to model. And then we'll pull forward some of the special weapons from this unit as well. Now, these are magnetized, uh, just so that they can obviously be interchanged. Our client requested that done, so we've done that. And that's both the arms are magnetized so that we can change the full weapon loadouts on these special weapons. And the additional special weapons have also been painted for our client as well. But you can see all the lenses and everything done on these guys. I'm just showing you various models through the force. So you can see the consistency that we execute here at Siege from model to model. Um, so you can just mix these up into small squads if you need to for regular 40K, and they'll all blend in perfectly together um, again another one crouching here again the same consistent detail and I really do like the color scheme on these guys it's very very dark kind of spec ops as well which is quite cool and then we'll pull forward some of these drones uh, and all three of those special weapons are magnetized as I mentioned just so you guys can see it here's one of the drones uh, or the big big sort of drone here from the force again all that lovely lovely solid edge highlighting done on all the armor panels there as you can see all the little lights and lenses and everything all fully painted and little bits of detail picked out in bronze and gold and etc uh, but all the lenses there you can see in a lovely, lovely finish uh, as well, just to show that real sheen of lens on there. So that's just the main drone. Uh, and then we'll pull forward the two sort of flanking drones. Now these are fully magnetized as well as per a client request. Before I sort of show you the magnetization, I'll just show you that obviously all the details are painted. The set markings are free-handed on there. All the edging is done in a lovely fashion as well, as you can see. And then for the magnetizing purposes, the top comes off and also the gun is magnetized to the base. So the you can literally put on all the different bits and bobs from the bottom of the drone onto this one as well. Uh, just get into face forward so he doesn't look like he's going the wrong way. Uh, so that's that one. And then we have a marker drone here as well, just so you can see the marker drone. Again, all the lenses and everything fully painted. And this is also magnetized completely to the stand and also the lid and bottom piece are all um, magnetized differently. So this can be made into a shield drone, recon drone, all different bits and bobs that uh, you'd expect uh, that can be done as well so that's just the other drone really really cool custom schemed uh towel kill team uh, i'd love to see a huge force in this color i think it looked really really good um and if you uh, if you stick around you can find out how to take out a commission with us very shortly in the end of this video and see this great kill team for a bit longer see you guys back in a sec
So thanks for checking the video out, guys. I do hope that you have liked this towel kill team. A really, really cool colour scheme. I know Keith thoroughly enjoyed working on it. Uh, and obviously the, the magnetising that's been done on the project just makes those sort of special weapons a bit more flexible as well, which is really cool. If you are interested in the commission with us, be it for a kill team like this, a character to lead your army, or a small army force or phase, or a whole even massive army, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where there's a link which says get a quote. Click on that link. It takes you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form. And all you need to do is complete that contact form by selecting the drop-down options from those available that are relevant for your project and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format which is very simple and easy to fill out fire that off to us we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started uh, while you're here on youtube do us a huge favor and subscribe to the channel if you do hit the bell icon you will be notified when new videos and things go up as well and let us know in the comments what's your favorite towel model and why i would really love to hear from you in the comments and have a chat with you so drop some comments below and let us know i'll see you very shortly on the next video take care of yourselves bye bye